I give salam to my people in Bangladesh. Salam to the people of Marrakesh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Brothers and sisters and dear friends Before I start I want to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The most merciful, the most just All praises, glory and gratitude belong him for the works that we do uh, As salam, we're here at the, uh, on the ground inshallah Right behind me is the school that all this happened Now there's a few points that I want to mention inshallah For all of us to benefit Now we know exactly, everybody knows from um, media, outlets Whatever has happened, happened yeah I was on my way here, my car broke down, I was a bit late Alhamdulillah, I got here, Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala You know, we plan and Allah plans, Allah is the best of planners um, Now, what I want to mention is that what happened is wrong You know, I don't need to go over that And whoever it happens to is wrong We want to make this very clear Because there's opportunistic people from the far right extremist groups Like Tommy Robinson, uh, Britain First, the rest They are taking this as an opportunity to make it seem like Oh look, you know, there's a lot of people that get bullied A lot of uh, young um, British lads and girls are getting bullied But when they say Muslim The uh, media goes all crazy Now what I want to highlight is the fact That no matter who it happens to It's wrong Be you a Muslim, no Muslim Whoever you are, it is wrong Yeah. And now the question that needs to be asked is Why did this happen? Why did this boy Because I believe there's two victims in this The boy who's bullying is a victim And the one who's been bullied is a victim They are both victim What are they victim to? Now Jamal is a victim to Bashar al-Assad, yes, in Syria. His family were tortured and he came here, right? He is a victim to that. Then he became another victim to the far right and their propaganda. He's a victim to those two things. The guy who did the bullying, the boy who did the bullying, he is a victim also. Now, what he did was wrong. I'm not gonna come here and sugarcoat it. It was despicable, disgusting. Whoever is done by, if it's a Muslim doing it to a non-Muslim or a non-Muslim doing it to a Muslim, it is wrong. But I have to be honest with you guys He is a victim He has been groomed Yes He has been groomed By who? The far right Tommy Robinson Why? Because these individuals um, The Finsbury at uh, uh, attacks That happened Who did it happen by? Yeah The person who came And ran over innocent Muslims What made this guy? What triggered him to go And do this? So the Finsbury uh, Park attacks that happened Why did it happen? Because the same thing happened Yeah yeah, we've got excited people as you can see So the, the, the guy who got caught He, on his letter He quoted Tommy Robinson Yeah, uh, Joe Cox's murderer, Thomas Mayer He did the same thing They are being brainwashed By the far right media And what are they doing? They're taking the matters into their own hands Because they're saying Muslims are our enemies And these people and ISIS are buddies They're business partners Now you're telling me, you might be asking me, What are you talking about? I believe ISIS and the far right are business partners. You know why? Because when ISIS carry out attack and kill innocent non-Muslims, the far right, Tommy Robinson in his comfy house, his big house that he gets 100 grand a year and he's got eight properties, he's been funded well, he's in his house happy. Why is he happy? Because he's like, because he's like, this is exactly what we need to cause a riot, a conflict. This is what he wants. And this is the same thing ISIS and Jim Chowdhury, people like them do when the far right carry attack, they say, yes, that's exactly what we need to cause tension between the Muslims and the non-Muslims. This is the reason why they're business partners. They work with each other and they love each other's actions. I want a message given out to the young, innocent, white, British kids that are watching this. The very same Tommy Robinson, the very same Britain first, the very same far right, and this goes both with ISIS as well, yeah? These people who are in their comfy houses, Tommy Robinson in his comfy house, his kids go to private schools, he goes on holidays every year, he's got a property that he lives in comfortably. When things get messy and when there's a riot happening, Tommy's going to be in his house with a sip of tea, enjoying it. While you, you, young kids like you, who bully this boy, or be it those who are brainwashed by extremists like ISIS, when you guys carry out the attack, these people are in their comfy houses watching it and seeing you get murdered and seeing you get killed. This is the reason why, my dear brothers and sisters, in humanity, do not fall for this nonsense. Tommy Robinson wants a riot. He wants a riot because he's got personal issues, which I know very deeply. I'm not going to go into it. He knows very well. Yeah, if I open my mouth, I don't want to get personal. Yeah, now he's come. And he's belittled this situation. Now what he's doing, he's twisting a story and claiming that Jamal was responsible for beating up a white girl 
Look at the situation. Look at the words that he uses. A group of Muslim gangs, including Jamal, was biting and beating this girl and the mother got in contact. Well, guess what? On the screen, you can see the same mother of that girl saying this is a lie. I never said Jamal is involved. Do you see what kind of a vile scumbag this man is? When I met him, when I met him face to face, the same man who says there's 113 verses in the Quran that says kill the disbelievers. I said, Have you, can you give me one? For one hour I was speaking to him, not a single verse he brought. I want to wrap it up, brothers and sisters. I urge non-Muslim, Muslim who's watching this, do not fall for the propaganda of these vile animals, ISIS and the far right, because you're going to end up suffering. It's you that's going to end up suffering. And lastly, whoever's sending death threats and bullying the bully who was bullying, do not do the same thing and the mistake he's done. He himself is a victim to this. So all I'm saying is this, what he did was wrong, but do not go sending death threats and making him feel how he made Jamal feel. Do not do that, it's wrong. As Muslims, the Prophet Sallallahu when he and his companions went through torture in Surah Buruj verse 78, Allah SWT says, we were seeing what they were doing to the believers. They did not persecute them and torture them for no other, but they said our Lord is Allah. So brothers and sisters, do not do the same to this guy, even though he comes from a troubled background, do not. When, he, when the Prophet, peace be upon him, conquered Mecca, he forgave his enemies. So it's very simple. Inshallah, if you're watching the shares with your friends and family, tonight, inshallah, I'm planning on seeing Jamal and his family, inshallah, spending some time with them, hearing it from him, understanding him, and actually, to be honest, just to want to give him a hug. May Allah bless you guys for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalam. We will always be on the ground, tackling far right and all kind of extremism, wherever it is. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.